Hello, Debbie Rice here, and I'm setting up, hopefully I will get under here. Okay, I have an elongated piece of paper. Good afternoon, by the way, it's Saturday. I have an elongated piece of paper. I'm folding it in half. And I'm going to fold it in half again, backward, like that. And I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. So now I have an accordion type of thing. And I'm going to flip this so that it closes the other way. So we're double folding almost. And that's okay. This is 140 pound arches paper, cold press. And we're going to make an accordion book landscape that I learned today from Karen Stamper, and she's a wonderful plein air artist. She goes out and she does her own thing. She loves gardens and trees, and her looseness is very similar to mine. Um, let's see how we go here. I have with me a graph stick, and here's another smaller graph stick. I have an emery board, I have a white pit pen, I have a pencil, we'll use that first, I have a black wax pencil, I have white wax candle, I have a stick that I've pointed off like this, I have a stick. I have a knitting needle, a tiny thin one. Don't know if I'll be able to use that right now. I have a bit of makeup that is so old, eye makeup. It's so old, but it's copper and tan color. I have leaves, twigs of leaves that I may be using. I have some watercolor paint. This happens to be Daniel Smith, by the way. Just mixed red, blues, and yellows. I have some washi tape, okay, in here. I may use it, I may not, I don't know yet. I have a sponge. I have a water spray, a little spray bottle, and I have some Mod Podge here, but I have not gotten my torn papers out yet. So I'm going to show you the basics of what I learned today, and hopefully you can have some fun also. I'm going to start, first of all, with just a pencil. And I'm left-handed, so I'm going to put the pencil in my right hand. All right, and I'm going to start scribbling. Scribbling and scratching and making dark spots and making elongateds and ups and downs. And I'm just gonna keep doing this. I know it went off, so I pulled that back over. Gotta keep going. Gotta keep going. Okay, so that's a whole bunch of scribble. And you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, she just killed, what is she doing? Now, believe it or not, I'm taking an eraser and I'm erasing parts 
of my scribbles, erasing parts of my scribbles. I hope you can see me here. Parts of my scribbles, I'm just erasing, not everything, but quite a bit. Quite a bit, and I'm finishing off down through the end. You may not be able to see me right now, but I'm still doing it. Hello, I'm really right here. Okay, just about here. I believe that's about right. Now, I'm just going to brush that off. I can vacuum later. Not to worry about it. A little more up here. I don't think I need that line. But we'll see. Don't worry about it. Next, I'm going to take the graphite paper, graphite stick, rather, and I'm going to darken by shaving, almost, the graphite off the stick. I'm going to gra um, just pick some areas, and I'm making, see how I'm making graphite spots, okay? Now... Doing it all the way down through, just a bit. It is a messy project, but it's fun. I'm going to bring this back down here because it really doesn't matter at this point. Taking just one finger, and I'm going to start making some values in here. See how nice and dark that one got? Okay, making values. Not moving it all in the same direction, making different values. Maybe steal some more over there. We can darken that later. Okay. Okay, as you can see, I'm kind of messy. And that's okay, I'm just gonna dip my fingers in some water and wash myself off a bit. We can use that water later. Okay, now I think what I'm going to do next is my graphite pencil. It's a graphite stick. Now you can use just any black. You could use black paint. You could, I'm making trees. I'm making bushes. I'm making nature. Does not have to be perfect, as you can tell. Keep going. This is going to come out um, different for every person because every person's heartbeat is a little different. So it kind of, when you're making just 10 scratching like I am, um, Yours, yours is not going to come out just like mine. And that's a good thing. That's the object of this. Okay, we have a whole batch of trees now. Okay, at this point, I think I might take my white wax and make some streaks. Make more trees and more branches, bushes. I'm just way over the, oops, I broke it in half. Does it matter? No, it doesn't matter. We'll just keep going with it. It's wax, I mean, after all. As you can tell, 
I'm not even sure where this is landing right now in the picture. I'm just doing it. So I'm sure the wax will have an end result sooner or later. Okay, now at this point, I think, I think I might be ready for my paint brush and a little bit of water. And maybe I'll stick with the blues and reds make purple. Blue and red makes kind of a purple wash. I'm gonna start a wash over some of this. And you will see where some of the white lines are going to end up showing. See, there's some right there. Okay, they're right there. So we'll just see how far that one goes. Not too far, and that's okay. Just wetting some of the graphite and see how it grays it off. Going in all sorts of directions. Going a little haywire, a little wild, and that's okay. All right, add some more blues into the air. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I keep moving this on you, mainly because the paper is so long. I'm just, I'll go back afterward and show you what I've done. Still adding the blues and the purples. Just by adding blue and red together, I get kind of a purple cast down through. Still working. I'm working very fast just to show you some ideas. You can contemplate this and do it as structured as you want. This is a very quick lesson. And I never know how it's going to actually turn out. So we'll see. I like experimenting. Any of you who actually know me know that I love to create not knowing what I'm going to create. Now I've added in just a little bit of the yellows into, there's not much yellow left on that palette, but the yellow, red, and blue has turned into kind of a really nice brown effect. So I'm adding some of that darkness across. Hopefully you can see how I'm not being particular. I'm not even thinking about this actually. I'm just, it's just, let, I'm letting it happen. Letting it happen. Let's see, a little more reds in here. That, that's kind of cool. Okay, that turned out a little bit more red. Here we can, I can show you there. A little more red into that area there. Okay, great. Now, at this point, um, I'm going to get my yellow Daniel Smith out here and squeeze a little bit more onto the palette, which is a plate from the grocery store. I like to use white plates. It's just a white plate for $5.95, I think it was, at the grocery store I found it. Um, I don't spend a lot of money on palettes because I wanna spend my money on the Daniel Smith because I like their paints. Okay, now what I've done is I added some of the blue into the yellow. I believe it's ultramarine blue, I believe. 
and I'm getting a really pretty green for the treetops now. I'm letting the black blend itself into the yellow. Black and yellow has a tendency to make green casting. See right there how that is? The graphite is actually mixing in with the yellow. Okay, now over here, the same thing will happen over here. Um, it's a little darker. See how it changes when there's some of that waxed, waxed candle again. There we go. All right. Now, I'm just making a forest. We're walking through the woods today in this particular accordion book. We're taking a walk in the woods. Since we can't leave our homes, um, many of us cannot leave our homes right now, then we have to learn to entertain ourselves. And so I am walking, taking a walk in the woods in my mind today. That's where I'm headed. Okay, I like this area. I like the fact that this area is not all yellow. So I'm going to try to get in some nice blues in here, which will designate, I hope you can see this, you can designate a bit of a sky feel doesn't have it doesn't have to be perfect I'm pulling some more blues maybe up in through here okay this is just to get a feel of a sky all right letting it dry you should, you're kind of wondering what am I going to do with all those other objects right well, I'm going to make this as consistent as I can through here, but then I can go back. Okay, there's some really nice light sky color. And before those lines completely dry, I'm going back in with a wet brush and softening the edges down. So that should work. Need a little more yellows through here, more trees maybe, tree branches, not a lot. The wind seems to be blowing in that direction, I'm not sure why, but we'll go with it. Okay, so far I have gone all the way from here down through. I left this area open 